Hello, I'm Kaka, the Predatory Lender, and today we'll be talking about newspaper stocks. Well, we all know what a real party animal I can be. The other night, while I was out on one of my adventures, I should bump one other into none other than my old prom date. Lisa. Oh, good times, good times. Oh, Lisa. While well, I saw her across the room as a total vision of loveliness, I came closer and said, Hey, baby, remember me? While well, she was taken aback for a moment, she later admitted she remembered and explained after the mysterious death of her late husband she had recently came in to a bit of money. So I explained to her my legal troubles and she suggested that I should see her new boss Lex Luthor of Luther Court and that the next morning she would arrange a meeting for the two of us. So that is when I asked her that if after the party she would like to get together for a little party of our own. While well, she was taken aback by that for a moment, I later explained that I have taken care of that little problem we had had once before. And that seemed to have put a real smile on her face. So I followed her out of the party and to her place as well. And needless to say, that night I felt like the real king of the moon. But I can say, after we were done, she really needed to wash her hair. <laughs> So, the next morning, we both left with a real smile on our face. And I woke up with a real cheer, ready to call my old buddy Lex at Luther Court. Lex Luther. Yo, Lex, buddy. What? Who the fuck? That you? What the fuck did you do to Lisa's hair, you fuck? Uh, 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 I don't know, man. Uh. Well, you get your fucking ass over here right now. And no front door privilege for you, you fuck. Use the freight elevator. Uh, uh okay. Well, I had a little bit of trouble getting through Luther Corp security, but I'm on my way now. Step aside, loser. What's your problem, loser? I said, get out of the way. I think I do. No, you don't. I don't hang out with people like you. Yeah. I, I think I do. Uh, no. Wait a minute. Yeah. You're the predatory lender. Uh, no. Yeah. You are the predatory lender. No. Yeah. And you know what? You make me really, really. Yeah. You really make me, make me evil. No! Lucky my old buddy Lex was there to bail me out with his little green pocket ring. 
And after fixing that little misunderstanding between us, he suggested that I go see Number at the nightly business or part. And after a quickie with her, she introduced me to the rest of the staff at the nightly business report. And that is when we got down to business. The recession has hurt virtually every industry, but for newspapers, it's a fight for survival. Many papers are folding, others are filing for bankruptcy because of a big drop in advertising. The New York Daily News, the nation's fifth largest paper, is attacking the problem in a unique way. Erica Miller explains as we continue our series, Reviving the Economy, What Should Businesses Do? It's the middle of the night, and printing presses at the New York Daily News plant are rolling out newspapers at dizzying speed. But there's big change coming here in the fall. These older presses will be replaced by state-of-the-art new ones that can print every page in close to magazine color quality. Daily News publisher Mort Zuckerman predicts the upgrade will pay off on the bottom line. On the revenue side, it's beneficial because A, we will attract more advertisers if we have more color. Uh, advertisers want to advertise in color. They don't want to advertise in black and white nearly as much as they were willing to do before. B, we get a higher rate from advertisers for the color. So we think it'll enhance our advertising revenues. He also thinks it will enhance newsstand and subscription revenues. And because three older presses can be swapped for one new one, Zuckerman sees cost savings as well. The Daily News' focus on enhancing its printed product comes at a time when newspapers nationwide are facing increasing competition from the Internet. More and more Americans are opting to get their news free online rather than paying for a printed edition. That trend has led to predictions that printed newspapers could eventually become obsolete, especially now that there are Amazon's Kindle and similar devices. But analyst Alexia Quadrani isn't writing an obituary for printed papers. I don't think everything disappears. I don't believe the print product will disappear in aggregate. I think you'll definitely have papers that will survive. You know, there's still a demand for papers. It's just unfortunately the business model is not attuned for what really is the reality right now. And the reality is that most people are not picking up the paper anymore to gain their news. She predicts big-name papers like the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times will survive because they offer unique content. She also expects most small-town papers will survive for the same reason. It's the mid-sized metropolitan papers that analysts believe are most vulnerable. Denver's Rocky Mountain News recently folded, and the Seattle Post-Intelligencer is leaving paper behind altogether, becoming a smaller online news source. The San Francisco Chronicle has warned it might close, which would mean no daily paper in that city. The owners of the LA Times, the Chicago Tribune, the Philadelphia Inquirer, and the Minneapolis Star Tribune have all filed for bankruptcy protection. Media analyst Ed Adorino of the Benchmark Company says many newspaper publishers made the mistake of taking on heavy debt loads when times were good. This is a brand new phenomenon. I've followed the industry for, you know, 20 or 30 years. You never really thought about balance sheets for this industry. Cash flow business, not a big problem, but now it is a crisis. Most analysts don't see much hope for the industry until there is a pickup in advertising, because it typically accounts for 80% of a paper's revenues. Mort Zuckerman warns the trouble in the newspaper business has serious social consequences, including the loss of important investigative journalism. The newspapers can no longer afford that kind of original reporting and longer pieces. And that is the real loss to the community because that gives them an insight to what's going on. That is, and, and, and a check, I might add, on public officials, that is just not going to be there in the future. So I think that's a huge loss. If he's right, that's bad news no matter how it's delivered. Erica Miller, Nightly Business Report, Jersey City, New Jersey. Monday.